think uh, this part now we'll be doing for video uh, to view the videos, play the video, download the video, and share the video to WhatsApp or any other shareable, any app that accepts shareable link or image, okay, or videos. Yeah. So in the previous bit, we were able to uh, render the video, the images, and also download, share, and also save the image as well so we're able to complete all those parts all right so it was a successful one so in this video now we are going to see how to render the image the video because currently we are having invalid image data because you cannot render image uh we cannot render mp4 in an image file so to do this we are going to uh, generate a thumbnail from that videos okay so in this uh series in this particular video you're going to learn how to generate thumbnails from videos so we are going to be using this depend this package which i added i think it was thumbnails uh so i think if we go to prospect.tml file uh sorry our what's it called uh, pop the dev and search for video thumbnail so we should see the plugin yeah this one this particular one here so that's what we are going to be using to generate the image thumbnail so i'm going to go back to my code now and i think i need to add this stuff to uh, pop the dev to my prospect.tml file sorry all right so while it's adding i think i need to create a function yeah, that will handle the uh, generating of the image thumbnail for us. So I will go inside my UT class and inside here I'm going to create uh, get thumbnails dot that. All right. So inside here now it's going to be a simple future uh, function that returns a string, which is the part of the thumbnail, like the image. So I will say get thumbnail, which is the name. And it's going to get take the uh, the parts of the video. So yeah, we all want to get generated the thumbnail from which is the video. I'm going to pass it there. So inside here, I'm going to use a string because it returns a string, and I'll call it thumb for short. Then uh, it's an asynchronous call. So because we are using we are calling future, so I need to use a sync here. And here I will say await. Then I'll call thumbnails. okay something is wrong i think this stuff is not properly added uh flutter pop get okay it should be thumbnails it cannot be video thumbnail no way aha uh -huh. let's see if Okay, thumbnail file parts and uh, okay, like so. I think I'm going to give it some uh, quality which is 10. So, quality 10 is okay. And the image type, image format is image format.png. So, that is okay. Then, what I'm going to do now is to return the thumb like so yeah that works very simple so uh, we are going to go back now to our code so this is just used this is the method that is going to generate the thumbnail for us so we're going to go to my video page so inside here now well, after we have done all our check no video available and all every other stuff i'm going to in case you didn't get to this part please watch the previous video on uh, status saver it's a playlist so uh, what we are going to do now is to uh, res return this stuff like this stuff now i'm going to uh, replace it with a future builder okay yeah it's going to be a future builder because we are actually calling a future to generate the and it returns a string so this should be replaced with future and so i'll be getting get thumbnail yeah that will pass the video part which is the data dot part yeah like so and it's going to generate it for us so what i'm going to do now instead of calling this stuff directly i'm going to use some check so if uh let's say snapshot the data dot this snapshot dot uh has data yep so we're going to return this but if it doesn't have any data then i'll just return a simple center widget with a circular progress indicator circular 
progress indicator like so okay yeah this works uh quickly let's uh think we need to return this guy yeah it works save it up and i think there will still be an error because you are still fetching from this file right so what i'm going to do since it returns a string i think that string is more like image dot file so i'm going to call uh i'm going to get the data here final data equal to i think it would not be nice i get it from here so what i just need to get instead is snapshot dot data yeah, like so. And uh, yeah, so this will work. So let's see how it goes. And I'll just wait hot restart here to be sure that everything is okay. And open my console to display everything. And then once it loads up, I'm going to go to videos. Let's see. Yep, it's fetching the video. But I think there are some errors. Missing plugin exception, implementation of form for for channel, blah, blah, blah. So that means I need to actually, uh, yeah, kill the app and then rebuild it again. Okay, so we just build the app now. So I'll go back to videos. I hope I don't get that error. No error. So just give it some few seconds to generate the thumbnail. And, uh, yep yippoo yeah so you guys can see uh, now we have all the thumbnails of the videos so it has successfully generated the thumbnails for us yeah so this is cool and it's smooth the scrolling is just cool and smooth but right now if we click on it nothing happens because it just takes us to that page and nothing happens there so uh, to actually get this bit out so what we need to do now is to I uh, use the Chewy plugin which we added to actually play the video, share the video, and do everything. So I'm going to try my best to complete uh, everything here. So let me show you guys how to play the video and pass it to the other page. So we have successfully yeah, rendered the thumbnail using uh, the thumbnail dependency, right? So going back to video, I think I'm going to create a video view here that is going to get the part of the video. So I'll just call this one final. It's going to be a string. I'll uh, say video parts like so and then from here we just uh, create the constructor video parts awesome so it's supposed to be a future and once you go to video and once the user clicks on video view so i'm just going to pass the main video part not the thumbnail you get so i'm going to pass the main video part which is this data dot parts like so great we are good to go then inside the video view i'm going to create some chewy instance so uh i'll be since i'll be using chewy so i'll just create the chewy constructor chewy controller sorry and it's going to be for now i think i'm just going to call it chewy controller like so then inside my init state i'm going to initialize chewy so i'll call this chewy controller we okay to controller and i think it takes the video controller it takes the video controller which is going to be video why is this thing showing video i think it's video player controller yeah dot file no not content you are dot video controller dot file so if you want to play network or asset you just have to specify it there so since we are working with file i think the first thing that will be uh, sent here now is going to be the video file right yeah it's going to be the file uh video player dot file uh, which is a file all right and we're going to pass the widget the video part inside there directly then the next thing that we're going to put is the aspect ratio think nothing else is required video code controller dot file then once we call dispose we need to actually dispose of that controller so just call chewy controller dot pause and uh yeah just call that pause because it's not good to keep playing it while we are out so to avoid uh think we also need to call dispose to avoid memory leak and other stuff yeah so we are good and uh so once we get to this body now i will replace this container with the chewy controller the chewy itself okay then it has the controller so i'll put the chewy controller once it loads up
All right. I just hope this works because it's kind of uh, looking so different in your controller. Uh, yeah, inside here. Awesome. I okay. It has more options, so we can see. You can see if you view the Chewy controller, so we can have auto play, auto initialize, set it to true. Set auto initialize to true. Auto play, set it to true. And also set your looping. So I want it to loop once it ends. Set it to true. And we have the uh, aspect ratio. So I'll just use 5 by 6. And then we have the error builder in case there's any error. So we need to have some uh, view. So let me just return a center widget with a child of test. Yeah. That takes the error message. Yeah, like so. I think we are good to go. And yeah, once this bit is good, uh, we can just save it up. And yeah, let's go ahead and click on the video to see what happens. So once it initializes, uh, the video will start playing. So if you can hear the sound. Okay, it's coming from my phone. So let me increase the sound from my phone. So we can go back and uh, I don't know why this thing keeps disconnecting oops but it works right it works right now so we can actually get that beat almost done so I don't know why this thing keeps disconnecting let me uh, quickly set it up again and now if I click on one video let's say this you can go in and say explain awesome so now we need to actually you can actually pause it can see you can play it so now we are going to see how to save it and also how to download it so you can see once we exit without pausing this stuff just ends immediately yeah so this is like a video the image figma adobe yeah so uh i think our adobe just bought figma for a huge amount <laughs> but that's by the way and all right so now i'm going to build this now then let's handle the download uh video uh, it's still going to be the same thing we did for the image view then for downloading video so i'm just going to copy this stuff and go back to the video view so inside here i'm going to paste this stuff so we are still going to use the image saver gallery because it works for video and image so here now instead of video part it's going to instead of image part it's going to be video part and we change this to video saved then for the sharing uh, let's go back here the sharing we are just going to use this guy and go here so you can see how easy it is to create a WhatsApp status saver. We have been able to create a thumbnail, also display, play, and pause videos. So let me save this bit up. So if I click here now, it's going to load up the image. So it's trying to generate the thumbnail. So in case you know of any faster way to actually generate thumbnail, uh, let me know. Then I think I'm going to update this video if I see that way. So uh, let's click on this. Now it's playing. Let me just pause it so i can click on whatsapp to share it to whatsapp uh, since it's a video and uh, yep let's click here you can actually see we can play it here add your title or whatever you want and then share it to whatsapp and it works very well oh someone guys we did it so if i click on save it's going to save the video for us so to get that video i think i'll just go to my gallery this is it you can see you can see the video now in my gallery so it has been saved awesome one guy uh we did it we did it we did it yeah so i'm so so excited uh this thing keeps disconnecting but i just wanted to know that everything is actually working very well and better so everything is working uh as it should okay yeah, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about creating a WhatsApp status saver. And we're able to make get every bit done. And the app is currently running. And yeah, that's it, guys.